Welcome Aries to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon Intuition bringing you messages from Spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like to know more about your connection, you can book a personal reading with me at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watchers, if you're the one watching this, it may resonate with you. So let's go ahead and get started. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Aries. I'm going to go ahead and spray down your area. Okay. Go ahead and remove the negative energies from the space. And today I'm using my Bitch Be Gone spray. And you can also uh, purchase this on my lovely website. Okay, so let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. Let's go ahead and pick up the person who is coming towards the sign of Aries. Spirit, please reveal to me who is the person that is coming towards the sign of Aries. Who is the person that's coming forward towards the sign of Aries? Who is coming towards the sign of Aries? Who is the person that's coming towards you at this time? What is the energy that wants to show through? From your person that wants to come through? How? Oh. Well, well, we have the playing field. This card signifies someone who is untamed and never wants to be tied down. Possibly someone who is a player, but more than not, it is a person who doesn't wish to be tied down or be in a committed relationship. So, Aries, you're dealing with a player. Okay, point blank period. Uh, your person who you're connecting with, um, they don't want to be tied down to a relationship. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me any additional information in regards to uh, the sign of Aries. Who is the person that Aries is connecting to at this time? Please give me a little bit more information on the person that is coming towards the sign of Aries. What is coming towards the sign of Aries? Who is this player? Please, Spirit. Please give me some intel on the person that Aries is connecting to at this time. Wow. Well, it's your twin, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> it is player, play girl, play boy, hence the reason why. Okay, I do have this spray. Okay, this bitch be gone. It's an uh, F boy repellent, too, guys. Well, what do you know? <laughs> so, uh, Aries, okay, you're dealing with your twin flame, and it's an obstacle. So, it's an obstacle because your twin is actually a player. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So, let me see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me where their energies are surrounding Aries. Who is the person that is approaching Aries? Who is this person that Aries is connecting to? So we definitely know it's your twin. So let's see. What information can you reveal about the sign of Aries? So I definitely see here a new love. Okay. 
this could be a new person so you could be dealing with uh, someone who was a player okay or is and it's a new lover okay this person could have uh, surfaced up to you recently and this person is your twin but uh, this player like energy is actually an obstacle for you guys to have like a new love relationship and I feel like you guys um, are in retreat so you know maybe you guys aren't really connecting in a physical sense okay um, because of certain uh, physical circumstances I really feel like uh, this person either wants to take you out on retreat or um, they they're trying to change so there is a potential for your twin to really uh, turn a new leaf okay it is a challenge it is an obstacle but I really feel that uh, this person can uh, push through this energy okay spirit what are the messages want to come through for the sign of Aries what does this person want to say to the sign of Aries trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform so uh aries your person wants you to trust in the situation yes they're a player but you know they're not a player no more <laughs> and uh, i feel like they want to choose you okay so you're gonna have to give this person the benefit of the doubt is what i'm hearing so let's go ahead and take a look and see what additional energies want to come through for your person okay spirit please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of your person how do they currently think about you how do they feel you know th this is something that's new to them i really feel like this person uh hasn't met anyone else like you before okay like you're you're different than what they're used to you're feeling. so you challenge uh this person you actually push them to their limits to change that's what i'm sensing wow so let's see yeah you could be dealing with a virgo okay this person um is really reflecting they're trying to really think very deeply about this situation i feel that it's about their player or toxic like ways okay i really feel like you actually help them to really think about their their true nature and now your person wants to be balanced and stable you could be dealing with the earth sign over here it could be um a capricorn or taurus also okay and um, they have made a decision okay and i feel like uh, this person wants to choose the connection however this person doesn't have patience okay this is something that they're not used to um i feel that uh this person was used to playing the field but they're asking you to trust and i feel like this is their higher self and they are actually willing to work on this connection with you i really feel like uh, they definitely want to put in the work i would say give them about a year to kind of prove themselves okay i really feel like they're gonna put some uh, effort okay because they have been really thinking about this okay there could have been like third party situations that didn't really work out and uh, your person is healing from those past uh, situations so that they can offer you new love so aries your person may reach out to you okay and within a couple of months you guys will be in a relationship okay like this person could be brand new or it could be an old person returning from your past to renew a relationship and i feel that right now um they don't feel very good okay so they want to build themselves up okay because right now they feel um they feel like they're beneath you um you know for some they're, they're pulling back their communication because i really feel like uh, this person doesn't know how to communicate to you honestly it feels like you're way above their level okay and they're trying to uh really uh focus more on themselves okay to see how they could really uh communicate and they see this okay i really feel like your person is now uh focused on uh their job or the career 
And this person definitely sees that uh, the relationship has a lot of potential between you and this person. And they want to tell you the truth quickly, okay? You might hear from your person soon. And I feel that they're going to tell you that they're not clear about, you know, what their intentions were, you know, or about their player-like ways, okay? But I feel that they want to tell you to just trust in them. They're, they're, they're really trying to change, and you, you did this for them, but I don't feel like your person's going to flat out tell you this, okay? There's a situation here of the past that this person needs to put closure towards so that they can move forward. And before, I feel like this person was all in their ego. Um, and, but I feel like within a week, this person may come towards you. I honestly feel like it's it's soon, okay? And, you know, this could be uh, the fact that, you know, they weren't really so giving, okay? And, and the partnership. Honestly, Aries, you actually put everything to the table and you address all the issues and the flaws uh, that your person really sees within themselves. Number one, they realize that, you know, they only took, they never gave. Number two, you know, they could have been flighty, you know, but it was because of their insecurity. Because when they match themselves up to you, they feel that you're in a, a higher or better position than they are, okay? And that is the reason why uh, that they act like this. Number three, okay? They could have been dealing with immature uh, connections, okay? And you are more mature, you're more stable, you got it going on, okay? And this person is, is changing, okay? I feel that this is your twin, and um, it's become a challenge. So I really feel that, you know, indirectly, you're helping your person to realize uh, a piece of themselves that they didn't see uh, with themselves with other connections. That's what I'm feeling. And yeah, I feel like, um, you know, they, they really didn't uh, take the time to really reflect on who they were, how they were treating you, okay? And they feel like you're their destiny. Like this person really feels that there is a strong connection here between you two. And they're trying to release, uh, you know, their burdens when it comes to being a player. Okay. That's a thing of the past where I can feel. Because you are everything that they've wanted. That, that, that is what I'm seeing. Like they want to offer you their love. And they're feeling really good about it. Okay. But right now, materially, they can't offer this. Uh, you know, I really feel that, you know, er, even after everything checks out, in the material sense, they feel like, you know, they're not enough. And that's where you come in, right? And I also feel that um, they're getting over, like, past situations where, you know, they're really hurt. So I feel like this is, like, wounding that this person needs to address before they can really open themselves to you. That's why uh, they've been a player. And I really feel like it's because of those relationships that this person was really uh, connecting to in the past. And I really feel that, you know, they weren't patient enough to stick around long enough. And I feel that now they're making a choice or decision because this came out of nowhere. It, it really shocked them. It really affected them. And I feel like it was you. Yeah, exactly. You know, Aries, you know, I really feel like you're showing up here as like an earth sign. I really feel like you're very stable and grounded. And I honestly feel that you have like earth elements in your chart. Okay, but this person really sees that you're the one. They want to commit to you. They really see long term. You know, um, you're you're very humble. Okay, that's what this person admires about you. And I also see that they they really want to come towards you. Okay, so if there are third party situations involved, this person only has eyes for you. And I feel like between one to three months, this person is is around the corner. Okay, they want to make an offer, and right now they know they need to heal themselves. You know, for some they're feeling hopeless and helpless. Uh, you know, from either walking away from this player-like way, okay? And I feel like they're actually currently working through this. Um, they're actually working on it now up until the next full moon, okay? And I see that they're holding back and they've made a decision 
to apologize. I feel like it's it's for how they were. So, you know, Aries, this person wants you to trust. Okay, they're gonna change, and I feel like you're gonna you're gonna notice this. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. You know, you could be dealing with um, an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This person could be held back, not really communicating to you. They could come off cold. I feel like it's because they're protecting themselves because they really want to approach you. And I feel like, you know, you're not going to be hearing much from them, possibly in the next three days. Could be three weeks. But they're going to give you an offer. So just be on the lookout, okay? This person could send you a text message, maybe a little get-together. I definitely feel like uh, this person could be younger than you. And I definitely feel like it could be an earth sign also. Okay, so let's see. Wow. So Aries, okay? Yeah, definitely front and center we have here a king of pentacles this person wants a commitment okay they're stable they're loyal uh they're very grounded and they want to tell you the truth that they want a commitment wow you turned this person aries okay they this person used to be a player but they're not a player no more with you okay you know again you could deal it with a gemini or um a virgo okay and i really feel like this is a dozen connection hence i do see here a twin flame connection that's what i'm saying this is really beautiful so how they're feeling they want to come in and tell you the truth okay for some this could be another air sign okay i do see here a water sign um they want to come in and express their love towards you um and i feel that you know maybe they left you at some point but this person wants to come back and apologize okay and i feel like they're apologizing for the way that they have been or the way they, that they have uh, acted towards you and they're asking you now to trust this person is coming in mature okay with this king of pentacles also with the queen of swords uh, in their heart they feel that you know they have to tell you the truth because that is what you deserve that you know they really didn't see things too clearly about their insecurities now they can see with the sun everything is really clear that you actually make this person happy and you actually help them address their fears their insecurities and because of that i feel like this person loves you okay this person may not have expressed it to you as of yet but deep down inside intuitively that is how i feel because i feel that maybe they repress some uh, some emotions here for some you could be dealing with the pisces maybe a cancer scorpio but I really feel like they couldn't see what this relationship was, but now they do. It is much deeper than what they had anticipated when they met you. That's what I'm feeling. And the future, I see that this person was selfish, okay, about having something beautiful with you. And I feel that maybe this person self-sabotaged the connection by uh, holding back their feelings. This person has a lot of deep feelings for you. They just didn't want any competition okay and that's why they came off cold this could be another aries okay and this could be you aries you know maybe uh you set up some boundaries towards this person because of their in and out out of behavior but i really feel that uh they want to get out of this um kind of like a competitive energy and they they want to travel towards you they want to end this cycle so they can have a new beginning and i see this person wants to work on the connection for some they actually work with you in the workplace okay and this person is definitely want to invest i feel like within the next year okay they're they're building themselves up so they can have a long-term uh relationship or connection with you wow and i see that they're coming forward towards you they're choosing you you know for some you could be dealing with another uh fire sign you know a libra aries and a sag they want to get out of you know feeling like you know they couldn't really come towards you of feeling like they were not good enough 
you know, for some they ghosted you, but and I feel like they did so they can end a previous relationship with another person. Okay, that's for some of you, and now um, you know they're in their head about it, about um, you know making those foolish decisions of the past and the reasons why they were so guarded. But now this person is using their intuition and they're really feeling their energy. For some, okay, you're dealing with someone with the initials of J and B, okay, is what I'm seeing here. And um, they're trying to get out of their head, okay, about this ending. But they're going through a transformation. So trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So if you accept the situation for what it is, this person is going to change. I really feel like this person has really, um, they really didn't see like a, a, you know, a version of themselves until you met them. And because of that, they're so thankful for you. And I feel like that's how this person fell in love with you. Honest to goodness, that's how I feel. Yeah, uh, this person feels like they missed that opportunity. So they've been watching you. And they're going to put down their guard, okay, from not really contacting you about, you know, getting together. But now they want to do what's right. They want to balance the scales. So give it some time, Aries. Your person is coming between one to three months, okay, is what I'm feeling. It could be sooner than that for some. But this is your twin, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit, what additional messages want to come through for the sign of Aries? What additional messages want to come through for the sign of Aries? I knew exactly what I was doing. You know, they knew that they were playing, you know, but now, you know, the tables have turned. I couldn't let you get close to me, you know, because your your honesty, you know, and your truth was really, you know, rubbing off on your person and they realized that, you know, their player like ways wasn't serving them. That is one scene. I want to tell you how I feel now. This person wants to be vulnerable with you. That's really beautiful. Um, so let's see what else. Spirit, what additional messages want to come through for the sign of Aries? What additional information wants to come through for the sign of Aries? What is uh what does this person want to say to you at this time? What does your person want to say to you at this time, Aries? What are the messages they want to come through from your person? What do they want to say? What are the messages that your person wants to say? Wow. Okay. I was scared how I felt about you. I never felt this way before. You are special to me. So, I mean, exactly what I said in the very beginning. This person is your twin, and they were scared about how they really felt. Okay, they've never felt this way before with anyone. Also, I'm sorry I treated you that way. I feel bad. So, they do have a sense of regret. Also, I feel ashamed by what I have done. I've never been to hurt you. I'm sorry. So, you know, they're really sorry. They want to come back and make it up. I feel like you don't listen to me. Your expectations are different than mine. Okay, so there could have been a situation where you guys weren't seeing eye to eye. But I really feel like that's something that you guys can really hash out and really get to know with one another as you get to know them deeply. And finally, I never stop loving you. This person, okay, if you guys were in an in and out situation, you know, uh, this person never stopped loving you, even though this person never told you, okay? I have a feeling that this person never expressed their feelings towards you, but this is how they feel deep down inside. You know, this person is your twin, okay? So let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit, what is the love language for the sign of Aries? Oh. What is the love language for the sign of Aries? What is this person's love language when it comes to you? 
look we have here I trust you you know again this is all about trust um, you know this person is really close to having union with you and for some we're done with an Asian and um, and a black male over here okay so that's for some of you guys if you guys are in a multi uh, multicultural relationship also we have something sweet this person likes sweet stuff okay so that could be for some of you and finally exploring the town this person likes to uh, explore like what the town has to offer so that's actually really beautiful okay so let me go ahead and see what else Spirit, what is the deep desire that this person has for the sign of Aries? What is this person's deepest desire for the sign of Aries? What is this person's deepest desire for the sign of Aries? What is their deep desire, please, Spirit? Let's see. Head in let's disappear and explore our deep desires so i really feel like they've been hiding their truth like they could have been a player but you know they now want to be deep and intimate also sharing tear the shirt off now but save it for later sexy little secret it looks better on you wrinkled <laughs> So I don't know if you guys had spent some time together, but somebody has an article of clothing, okay, and they think that their shirt looks better on you. And finally, we have here thrusting way down and what? Take control. <laughs> so uh, your person is ready for some action, okay, Aries? That's what I'm saying. So let me go ahead and uh, wrap up this reading with a closing guidance message, okay, and see. What does Spirit want you to know about your connection done with this person? So, if this reading is resonating with you, this is your guidance message. What is the guidance message for the sign of Aries? What is your guidance message? Please do. How can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? Okay. Growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Today's soul action. Look at yourself with the face uh, grace filter. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill that hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. So Aries, you know, how could you be more kind uh, to yourself and offer more grace? I feel like you don't do enough for you, okay? Now, uh, your person actually, you know, recognizes, you know, the true beauty in you. But what about you to yourself, you know? And I really feel like this person is kind of changed. I really do. So I really hope that this uh, reading was helpful to you. Let me know what you think. And thank you again for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.